Here we go. Muraku on 4S. First drive. This is all stock. Running on some rather slippery grass. <laughs> right out of the way, pigeon. Trying to avoid some trees that they've uh, planted recently around here. Just to make life a little hard. And you can tell the grass has not been properly trimmed for a while. But the Morocco does not care. This thing. just tearing it up. Tires are... Given the conditions, they're a little slippery. Hopefully they'll perform better in the gravel. Speed is a plenty, as is always the case with these Tim Carelli cars. Even on 4S, you can see it's dipping out there and, and spinning out. You gotta be kind of smooth. Oh, there we go. See? Gotta be smooth on the throttle and really point and shoot. Because if you try to get too creative on the slides, there you go. Sleeps out. So you gotta whoop, whoop, whoop. See? Like to bring that rear ten tail up. Whoop. Brings that rear tail right around. It's a little bit of practice. I think, I think with some better gripping tyres and perhaps better terrain conditions, this will perform a little bit better. But let's see how it does on the on the jumps. Nice controlled power, and we're upside down. That rebound didn't work well for it. It's always good to get the first scratches on the body out of the way early. That way you're not babying the car anymore because it's like, well, it's scratched now. May as well just, uh, oops, do big sends. Yeah, that one worked all right. have to line up going right to left, I don't know why. Sometimes I get it, sometimes I don't. <laughs> Here's a trick you don't see every day. I'm gonna try and see if I can clear it. There we go, got that one. Strong brakes. Flies through the air real good. Woo. Plenty of power and speed. Nice, lined that up perfectly. Tires aren't the best on the gravel, I will admit, they do slip a bit. A bit hard to control this thing. But, <laughs> but, um, yeah. even though the brakes are strong, it's hard to pull up on this because the tires are just slipping on the gravel. Okay, let's see what damage we can do here. Too bad for a first jump. Getting warmed up. Keeping in mind we are only on forest. Oh, 
Oh, just missed the pit. I can see this car with some decent tyres just on 4S being very dominant on a track with the right tune. This could definitely Definitely be competitive. Whoops. Flies well. Well balanced. Good performing car for a truggy. Really good performing car. Whoop. Going up a bit too high there. Perfect every time. Not enough wheel speed to do back with this one. Plus the wheels are a little bit smaller as a you know compared to a monster truck, so you don't have that inertia to rotate the car mid-flight. But does it fly well? Does it you know have the potential to handle really nice? Yeah, I can see already one of my tires is off balance at the back. It's vibrating like crazy. with this thing. It's a really nice driving car. No doubt the Shogun would be identical, just with a different body. But there we have it, the Morocco on 4S. Awesome car. So now we're on 6S and uh, boy oh boy. Does this have more power? Question is, are the tyres going to be able to hold on? That's the question. Definitely has more power now to clear those, uh, clear that double. Hang on, I gotta check that rear rear tire. It's wobbling like crazy. I reckon it's just got mud inside. Let's have a look. It's got, yeah, it's got a bunch of dirt in there. Let me see if I can clean it up. Actually, completely come unglued on the outside here. I thought it was uh, mud stuck on the inside of the wheel, but that's not the case at all. Uh, this run's going to be cut short a bit, which is a shame. It's very wobbly, I just noticed. Oh, will nuts come on loose or something? Uh, the front one's the same. I have to suss this out, but man, that's a shame. Look at that. Uh, this happens way too often with ready-to-run wheels and tires with too many companies. Surely. And this one, this one is okay. Any of the other ones coming loose? No, this one's fine. And this one? This one's fine. I got one out of four that's come unglued pretty bad. Oh well. Maybe we'll do a couple of big jumps and call it a day. These guys asked me to do some big jumps here. We'll see if we can do some big jumps. Try 
going to maintain a back loop as well. Did not want to rotate and the foam's come out. <laughs> the foam's coming out of the tire. Alright. I think we've entertained them enough. We'll have to come back with some uh, pre uh, re glue tyres and hopefully finish this run. Tyres come unglued. The tyres come unglued. So I gotta I gotta stop, otherwise I'll wreck it. <laughs>